Now the other truth is that uh, in my team, uh, the NIS placed a mall a long time ago. You know, Queen. I have a mall on my team. Because when I got an accident in Embo, for me, nilikataza wa Kenya, no, don't speculate. Nilikataza wa Kenya apana, mwache kusema your accident was planned. Eh? Accidents happen, and this has happened. But later, I realized Kenyans were not wrong to be paranoid or to be suspicious. Kenyans were actually right to be suspicious, and I was wrong not to be suspicious. Because the car that did an accident was not owned by an individual, it's owned by a company. And when you search the CR12 for that company in the register of companies and you check the directors, it's a dead end. The driver is somebody we've looked for, looked for, and we've not found him to date. Dariate Koko in Eto Nimukuruini police station. What is that place? Yes. To date, we've not found the driver. Now, when uh, I was arrested, there's a call that was made from this office around, around this building. Uh, and that call was made to JCI that I'm here. Uh, somebody was called here, Akaulizo Bosa Koye. Aliposema Ako, that person called DCI. When DCI came to this office for an arrest, they didn't guess. They didn't look for my office. Remember, this compound is so big with so many offices. But they didn't look for my office. They came straight to my office as if they already had the plan and layout of the building. When bombers happened, okay, when I was arrested, this mall was not there. So whenever bad things happen, hakuangi anywhere near. Boomers, this person is a very close person in my team and should have been at Boomers because come and end up Boomers. Na team yangu ime ni join. Mbona ya ala miss. Na kwake ni karibu na Boomers. Mbona alikuja huku kwa ofisi mahali siko, badala aende Boomers mahali ni karibu na hata mahali ya naishi. So the NIS placed a person in my team a long time ago when you research this person's history, you are not able to know which primary school they went to, secondary school. They wiped their profile clean. And the best way to wink Kenyans has been, this person pretends, you know, to criticize the government, to say bad things, to, to you know, expose projects so that we can trust this person. There's been an attempt to poison my food. And I'm thankful to God that it didn't happen. Na kama singejua that we have a mall, I think by now I would be dead. But I'm grateful to God and to the various Kenyans who've been sending me information, telling me be careful about this person. And uh, I have now become very serious about my security. I now have an advanced intelligence team that goes to the ground before I go to a public event and does, you know, just checking what is the feeling among, you know, for example, in Bomas, you know, I walked into a public event which was organized by ODM and which people had been mobilized and paid money through in buses and where there were goons paid waiting for me because I had said I'm going to Bomas. I've never been attacked anywhere in Kenya because I've never said I'm going to this place. Sijai say ama leo naenda Embu, ama leo naenda Gidurai, ama leo naenda Kitengela, ama leo naenda Molot Bomet. I've never said it. Hata nikisemanga na semanga tu, I'll be in Rift Valley generally. But because these people knew I'm specifically coming to, you know, KICC, which later turned to bombers, they planned very well for Niowa. But they didn't succeed. Because God is good. And because there's a mission. God has given me a mission and I must complete it. That's why he has kept me alive. So from now on, Kenyans, wakati munaangalia team yangu na kuna mtu munajua na munajua ni mbaya, please don't keep quiet. Always raise alarm. I've started vetting every member of my team, where they went to school, what they did, who they are, why they are here, what they do for a living, what they are doing. But wa Kenya munisaidie kwa hiyo mambo. So that uh, to square na malls kwa team yetu. Uh, 
There is also another incident that I was about to forget. When I was attacked at Momas, I went to the hospital. When I went to the hospital, I was treated, but we didn't go to the media and other people that I'm at Nairobi Hospital, so I left the hospital. I came to this office to pick something before I go to the next hospital. So nilikuwa nasaidiwa na watu wangu. Uh, na nilipofika hapa kwa ofisi, I got information from three different sources that I'll be arrested. And the reason I was supposed to be arrested on Friday was the police were looking for someone to blame for what happened at Momas. They were saying, let's blame the girls on Morara. But me, I was asking, but Morara came alone. In fact, at the door, he was only allowed to enter with one guard. So how do you blame it on him? But the police wanted actually to arrest me on Friday and blame the girls on Momas on me. So because of that planned arrest, I decided to set a trap for the police. Because I knew they are tracking my phones, I said, Ntawacha simozangu hapa, I'll go without a phone. Let's see whether the police will come. And the police never came. Because their mall, the NIS mall inside my team, told them I'm on Doka Mskuja. This only goes a long way in showing Kenyans that uh, it's no longer business as usual. My life is actually in danger and I need to be more careful than I've been. Now, the reason I had not beefed up my security, you know, some Kenyans have been saying, Sasa ya morara kwanu na unatembea kama mkenya wakawida kwa nini usi beef up security? Why are you failing? But security is expensive. Security is not cheap. Let's say, you know, hypothetically speaking, let's say you pay one security guard, say, 20 or 25,000, for example. Just an example. Um, how many would you need to guard the residents, to guard you? And how will you afford that cost every month? So, up and in Afkanga, viongozi wananunuliwa na William Ruto ama na some billionaires. You find that somebody is actually being supported by NGOs that have an interest or foreign governments that have an interest or some billionaires that have an interest because you are not able to afford basic security. But mimi mtachangisha. Mtachangisha wa Kenya, kila mkenya kinitumia 10 bob, 10 bob. Thao, thao mbili, so moja, miatano. I believe I'll be able to beef up my security and it will be well. So, uh, whatever you can spare, I'll be really appreciative to Kenyans, whatever they can spare to support me in beefing up my security. But otherwise, me, what I can promise Kenyans ni kwamba siwezi nunuliwa. There are stories of people who say, who you need project, who you need project. Maybe they themselves who are saying, who you need project, they are the project. Not the one when you the project. But uh, I don't think it's fair or good to call someone a project when you don't know them in person, you don't know their history, you don't know where they came from. Me, I come from a family history of fighters. People believe in something, people are principled. So, hatu fanani, siyo sisi watu ununuliwa, siyo sisi watu kuanga project za watu. There are some of us who actually fight for change because we believe. So, hiyo kitu ya kukua na mole ili ni hat sana. Sana. But, ndivo uh, ilivyo. Unajua sikuwa na political experience vizuri. But, sunona I'm gaining and I'm learning quickly. So, hata kama nilifanya yu makosa ya kuwa trust watu, kuenda mali bila intelligence. Ni kweli nilifanya makosa and I'm sorry. I apologize to all Kenyans kwamba hapo niliteleza, lakini it will not happen again. I will be more careful this time. And I'll continue fighting for what we believe in together. Sitawai wa disappoint na sitawai wa achilia. I'll keep doing the vampire.